Hi, welcome to Your Great Journey. We offer brief tips, techniques, and insights to help you move in positive directions and master big change. For more information, please visit yourgreatjourney.com. Your Great Journey is brought to you by audiobook publisher Wetware Media. Wetware Media publishes a wide variety of personal transformation audiobooks available from any major online audiobook retailer. For more information, please visit wetwaremedia.com. That's W-E-T-W-A-R-E-M-E-D-I-A dot com. Today we're sharing an excerpt from the audiobook Falling in Love with Where You Are by Jeff Foster. This audiobook invites you to discover a deep yes to your life, no matter what you are going through. To see crisis as an opportunity to heal, pain as an intelligent messenger, and your imperfections as perfectly placed. Even in your glorious imperfection, Jeff reminds us, you were always a perfect expression of life, a beloved child of the universe, a complete work of art, unique in all the world. In this episode, Jeff Foster suggests an experiment to discover what is fresh and alive in this moment, followed by a poem for no one. Stop. Whatever is happening in the circumstances of your life, stop. Gently begin to acknowledge what is here in this moment. Come out of your conclusions about life, your ideas about the past and future, and begin to notice the sensations, feelings, thoughts that are present right here and right now. Notice what is alive and immediate here. Let your present experience, sights and sounds and smells, become totally fascinating, the most curious dance in all the universe. You are seeing, tasting, touching, hearing the world as if for the first time. This is your Garden of Eden, and you are awake to it at last. Notice how thought is always giving names and labels to things. A car, a tree, a foot. It even labels what you are feeling. Sadness, anger, fear, disappointment, expectation, and so on. And then judges it as good or bad, right or wrong. Is the feeling the word? Is the judgment the feeling? Is the thought the reality? Try the following as an experiment. Instead of calling it sadness, drop that label for a moment and sink deeply into the raw sensation in the body. Feel deeply the sensation in the stomach, the chest, the heart, the throat, the back of the head. Assume that you don't even know that it's sadness yet. Allow that unnamed life energy to dance and move freely in the sacred space that you are. Instead of calling it anger, drop that heavy and loaded word and directly contact the intense, raw sensation in the belly, chest, and throat. Feel directly the intensity of it. Feel the sheer aliveness of it. You are alive. You are alive. Allow life to move without blockage. Notice that these waves of energy are already allowed without you having to allow them. They are allowed because they are life. Instead of calling it fear or boredom or frustration or powerlessness, drop that secondhand conclusion and directly contact the raw, first-hand sensation in the body. Is this energy really against you? Allow it to burn, fizzle, prickle, dance, move as if for the first time. You have never met this energy before. It is fresh in this moment. Is it really a threat to life? Is it really blocking anything, except an idea of how this moment should be? What is sadness when it is not named? What is anger when we no longer call it anger? What is fear prior to the word fear? What happens when we profoundly contact these life energies without history? Thanks for listening to this excerpt from the audiobook Falling in Love with Where You Are. You can purchase the complete audiobook from any major online audiobook retailer. If you'd like more information, please visit yourgreatjourney.com. 
please be sure to subscribe to the show so you don't miss an episode. And if you like the show, please rate and review it. And please share it with friends who might also enjoy it. Thanks for listening. This podcast is for information purposes only. The views expressed on this podcast are not medical or psychological advice. This podcast is offered with the understanding that the publisher is not engaged in rending psychological, financial, legal, or other professional services. If expert assistance or counseling is needed, the service of a competent professional should be sought. Your Great Journey is brought to you by audiobook publisher Wetware Media. Wetware Media publishes a wide variety of personal transformation audiobooks available from any major online audiobook retailer. For more information, please visit wetwaremedia.com. That's W-E-T-W-A-R-E-M-E-D-I-A dot com.